A logical date for the start of the Age of Reason is 1642, the year of the birth of Sir Isaac Newton, the single most important figure of this new historical era, and the same year that the great Renaissance scientist Galileo died. However, some historians prefer to say the Age of Reason actually began in the year 1686, the year that Isaac Newton published what many consider to be the greatest scientific book ever written, the Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, a book that was to radically change both scientific thought and method for centuries to come. In order to get a feeling for this era, let us discover what was happening in England during Newton's childhood. Isaac Newton was born in this house near the English village of Grantham in the year 1642. At the time of Newton's birth, 35 years had gone by since the founding of the colony of Virginia. And 22 years had passed since the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock. The year of Newton's birth was the year that the English Civil War began, that saw the Parliament locked in a deadly battle with the Crown, and that turned into an economic class struggle led by wealth merchants and Puritans against the monarchy. By the time Isaac Newton reached the age of seven, the English Civil War had ended with the execution of King Charles I. And for most of Newton's youth, England was ruled by a Puritan named Oliver Cromwell, who governed under the title of Lord Protector. The monarchy was finally restored in the year 1660, just one year before Isaac Newton entered Trinity College here at the University of Cambridge. Immediately after finishing his university studies, Newton decided to return to his rural home to escape from a re-emergence of the Black Plague that was starting to spread out from London to other English towns. By the year 1665, this most dreaded of diseases had taken tens of thousands of lives in England alone. But in spite of this fact, Isaac Newton experienced a burst of scientific insight never matched before or since in human history. During a brief 18-month period, he worked out the basics of a new branch of mathematics called calculus. He made the crucial discovery that all the colors of the rainbow are invisibly present in ordinary white light and wrote out mathematical explanations for this effect. He was able to understand and mathematically formulate the principles of gravity while watching an apple fall from a tree here in his garden. And at the same time, he described the physical laws that govern the motion of objects, calculated the masses of the sun and planets, and predicted the paths of comets. And all of these discoveries were also written down in precise mathematical language. But perhaps Newton's greatest achievement was the approach he developed for solving problems that we now call the scientific method. Before Newton's time, Science consisted largely of a mixture of observation combined with religious mysticism. This approach rarely yielded predictable results. In fact, the lack of a consistent logical method to science accounts for its slow rate of progress up to this time. However, in contrast to the old ways, Newton's scientific method was based on three essential points. Observation, generalization, and experimentation. By using this method, the facts were allowed to speak for themselves in a pure, simple, and above all, rational way. And so it was that Isaac Newton completed a scientific revolution done in the late Renaissance by Nicholas Copernicus, and as a result gave birth to a new era that we now call the Age of Reason.